Every year, Corvette Racing embarks on an eight-month race schedule which pushes machinery to its limits. A vital part of the C7R race car is the transmission, or gearbox, and motorsport veteran Ron Helzer is charged with keeping Corvette's cogs turning. I've been blessed. I, I went to K-Tech right out of high school, been with General Motors and Chevrolet through my whole career, and just to have all the equipment and the technology and the engineers at our shop, it's just, it's phenomenal. For the relentless race season, Helzer has six gearboxes in circulation for both Corvette C7Rs. After every race, the units get a complete overhaul during the teardown process, checking for wear and tear and any possible damage. So this here is the whole rear end of the car we're gonna pull out of here. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, get the diff out of here and look at it. I'm looking for bad bearings. I'm looking for wear. I'm looking for stuff chewed up, broken gears. So these are our friction plates. This is actually what loads and holds the rear end. They look pretty good, nothing stuck. You can see how the oil's really working. This is the electronic shifter. There's actually three pistons in here that uh, when the driver hits the, the paddles, it actually pumps each one of these valves and rotates the barrel, which rotates in each gear. And I rely on the GM guys to make sure that that calibration is perfect. It's always a good sign too when you open them up and they don't smell burnt. The whole shop will know if one of these things burned up because man, do they stink. This actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so this is our main shaft. This runs off the gearbox to the rear end. I don't see no chunks missing. And we're going through the gears. First gear, no nicks. Everything feels nice and smooth, like it was shifting proper. Our bearing feels good. This is our first and second shaft. Sometimes they tend to stick together there a little bit. Where it looks good. So when we say we have a bad shift or a miss shift because the calibration's off, these can hit each other or they can, they can grab a corner and they tear and rip. This actually moves over, grabs, and then spins the gear. And a dog to dog would be boom to boom. And it's gonna happen. So all it takes is the car hitting a curb and coming down and locking that wheel, and then you get that extra twist, and you could crack a tube. Fourth gear, see we got a little hot right there. Just a little touch of heat, you know, just from it rubbing. That's pretty normal. Everything feels good. These are our crown gears and bubble gears. They're basically the heartbeat of the gearbox. If they're right, the gearbox usually runs forever. And that's the teardown. We uh, had a flawless season last year with the gearbox, and we're doing pretty good so far this year. But uh, we don't want to start bragging about that, because just when you do, things happen. 